Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Java on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we are going to check whether Java is installed on our Windows operating system already or not. For that simple check is to uh, just open your command prompt. So just search for CMD in your search bar and then uh, click on this option which says command prompt and here just type Java space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and if it says java is not recognized as an internal or external command that means java is most probably not installed on your windows 11 operating system so let's uh, install java so for that you just need to open your favorite browser and search for oracle java download and the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com so just click on this link i'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also so you can directly click on the link and reach to this website here at the time of making this video three versions are available java 22 java 21 and java 17 we are going to install the java 22 which is the latest version so just click on the java 22 tab and then click on windows here we are going to download the msi installer so select the link which is in front of msi installer i'm going to click on this link which is going to start the download of this msi file so once this msi file will be downloaded you just need to click on this uh, msi file so you can see it's downloaded now so i'm going to click on this msi file and minimize my browser so now the installation wizard of java se development kit has been started so here click on next button and this will be the default location where java will be installed on your windows operating system so if you don't have the good reason to change this location just leave it as default and then click on next here and this is going to give you this kind of warning which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i'm going to click on yes here which is going to start the installation process and in few seconds this installation process will be finished so just wait for a few seconds and you can see the message which says java se development kit successfully installed that means it's installed successfully if you want to access some tutorials or api documentation you can click on next steps button otherwise click on the close button in my case i'm going to click on the close button now once again we are going to open the command prompt to check whether java command is now recognized or not so i'm going to once again search for cmd and then open the command prompt here and then i'm going to give this command once again which is java space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and this time you can see java command is recognized so here you can see the java version which i have installed is 2022.0.1 so now java is installed on your windows 11 operating system now some applications also requires java home to be set in our environment variables on our windows operating system so that they can recognize the java folder so let's see how we can set the java home environment variable so just go to your folder explorer and then click on the c drive here and then click on program files here and then click on java folder here and click on the jdk version you see here i'm going to click on jdk 22 and then you need to copy this path from here and then search for environment here which is going to show you this kind of result which says edit the system environment variables so i'm going to click on this option which is going to show me this kind of system properties window click on environment variables here and then select the path environment variable and then click on ok and this environment variable which you see here which is something like c program files common files oracle java java path this is done by our java installer right so if you don't see this kind of path then java command will not be recognized to set the java home environment variable you can go under user variables for your user and then click on new here and then in the variable name just write java underscore home all in capital and then the path value here will be the path which we have copied 
which is until JDK hyphen the version you have downloaded, right? So this is the path which we have copied from here. Once you have provided this path, click on OK and then click on OK here. And once again, click on OK, which is going to set the environment variable for your Java home. So once you have set the Java home environment variable and you can see this kind of output when you give the Java version command, then we can also test whether everything is working or not by creating a very simple Java script and then compiling it and then running the output for that. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this uh, terminal and then I'm going to go to my folder explorer and go to the location where I want to create my Java projects. So I want to create a Java directory inside my documents folder. So I'm going to go inside my documents folder, right click here and then let me create a folder and I'm going to name my folder as Java apps, for example, and then press enter. And then I'm going to go inside this folder and I'm going to create a new Java file. Now, right click on this uh, folder and then select new. And then we are going to select text document here. And first of all, we need to give the name to our Java file. So I'm going to name my Java file as hello. And the extension here will be uh, java instead of txt so just write java and then press enter and it's going to show you this kind of warning that if you change the file name extension the file might become unusable i'm going to click on yes here and my java file is created now generally uh, you can use some kind of ide or editor for example visual studio code or your intellij idea ide to create these java files you don't need to create it using this way, but I'm assuming that you don't have any experience in programming and you don't have any IDE or editor to create your Java file. That's why I'm showing you the most uh, raw way of doing this stuff. If you don't see dot Java extension here, you can click on view here and then select show here and then select file name extension from here. So this option should be checked here and then only you will see the extension Java here. So once my Java file is created, I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to select open with and then I'm going to choose the app. I'm going to choose the notepad in this case. So select notepad and then click on OK, which is going to open this Java file in the notepad. And once this file is open, just paste a very simple hello world uh, program here. So this uh, Java Hello World program you can find anywhere on an internet, but you need to remember a few things here. So this hello class name should be same as your file name, right? So you can see I have created the hello dot uh, Java file and then I have created this uh, program here and the class name is also hello here with the capital H. So make sure that this name and this name should match right? Otherwise, you might face some problems. Once your program is created, save your file and then close the file. Once you have saved your uh, Java program, you can once again, open the command prompt. And here and here you can copy this path where your Java file is there and then go to your terminal and write CD and then paste your path and then press enter. And now you are inside your uh, Java apps folder in the command prompt, right? So let me arrange this uh, command prompt and this folder side by side so you can see the output of the command also. So to compile this hello.java file, you can use this Java C command, which is for compiling the Java file and then space. And then you need to give the name of your file. In my case, it's hello.java and then press enter. And what it does is it's going to compile your uh, Java program and it's going to give you this kind of output, which is in the form of hello.class. This is the output of your Java program. And now you can run this hello uh, class binary by using the Java command. So just write Java. Previously, we have used the Java C to compile the Java program. To run the Java app, you use the Java command. And after Java, just write hello here. 
you don't need to give the dot class extension here. You just write Java and the name of the file, not the extension of the file. And then press enter and it's going to give you the output of your uh, program, which is hello world here, right? So everything is working fine. In this way, you can run your Java programs using the command prompt also. So this is how you can install and set up Java JDK on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.